Morning. Good morning. Okay, I think that wraps up uh, practice number five, if I'm not mistaken, for us. But first and foremost, uh, again, tremendous job by men's and women's basketball. Wish them the best as they get. Uh, I wish we could all be there to support them, but wish them the best as they take on, you know, this next uh, next opponent and next challenge that they have. But it's been awesome to watch baseball as well, man. You know, they've done a really good job, particularly this past week. So, uh, but that always adds juice, and spring practice naturally brings a lot of energy with it. And today was no different. Today was our first day of full pads, but we have been in pads the past couple of practices. Um, obviously, with new coordinators, you're installing new stuff, but uh, credit to the players and credit to the coaches. They've done a real good job of uh, not having to have us hold back anything. It's been full bore install at a high clip, and they've taken it really well. Um, we certainly have improved certain areas of our team through recruiting and through development. Uh, the offensive line stands out with those big bodies, obviously very big, long, powerful, physical guys. Um, the tight end position, um, not only with the development of Jaleel Skinner, but um, you know Cam McCormick and him being a veteran like he is, and these new guys there, there's just really special guys. It's helped a bunch. Henry Parrish had a great spring. Um, it's a lot of stuff to talk about, but I'd rather hold off and wait for questions. So that being said, questions. Mario, Coach, as you, as you mull how to fill remaining scholarships over the next four or five months in the portal, do you feel like you need a scholarship fourth quarterback and a scholarship sixth running back, or do you feel good at those spots with the preferred walk-ons that you no, have in addition? I, to I think both. I think we feel good about the walk-ons, but we're still going to be active. You know that. Uh, you know the, the the roster management chart is very fluid nowadays. You know you have plans, right? Right? You know, it's, it's a two-way street, right? Sometimes, you know, it's important to have addition by subtraction, especially when you're trying to build a program with guys that like to work and guys that really um, are all about just doing things a certain way at a high level. So it's been, uh, it's been fun. This group really likes to work. This group really, really likes to work. And so far, it's been a very... Uh, Good progress in spring so far. We'll be active on the D-line in the uh, portal. We'll be active at that both positions that you just mentioned. And there's a couple more. I mean, I guess the best, yeah, we'll be very active. Mario, so. you, you, you're always buzzing around, but you got a little extra juice when I see you. Yeah. Especially when the tight ends are working with the tackle. Oh, yeah. That, that, and, and, oh, yeah. And the difference in size in those tight ends now as opposed to what they're going to look like. Yeah, well, you know, the difference in, uh, and also the difference in mentality, yeah. athletic ability, power, recoverability, balance and body control, all those things, you know, come into play, and mentality, you know. A lot of guys have been developing, and then there's a lot of new guys, a lot of an influx of very strong and strong-minded talent. And credit to the older guys, they've done a good job bringing in the new guys and uh, helping them understand what culture should be like. So again, there's there's been a lot of pleasant progress and a lot of really good competition, particularly at the linebacker spot. That's where it really, really sticks out. But uh, I'd be I'd. I can't fail to mention the improvement of the quarterbacks and wide receivers. Huge part is systematic, obviously. And the second part, I think, um, I don't know, just the connection and coaching and the determination in that room. A guy like Colby Young has really been different, you know, and changed his body even more than when he came in. None of the guys are doing well. You know, Isaiah Horton stands out as a guy who's been doing really well. Got to mention Jacoby George, gained 10 to 12 pounds in the offseason. And when he's on, it's, he's showing what he is going to be for us, what he needs to be. So we're going to push him really hard. Same thing with Brashard. Restrepo, like always, doing a great, great job for us. Um, those new guys are doing a really, really good job. You know, um, Robbie and uh, and Ray Ray, those guys are they're hard. They're hard to defend, hard to catch. When you see a tight end, a young tight end, that sticks his head in there right away, the technique might not be great, it might not be perfect, but what does it say about a kid that just gets in there regardless? Yeah, he's got a chance to be a Miami Hurricane. You know, he does. If you don't, it just, you gotta, you're handcuffed. You know, sort of speaks when you call the offense, particularly in the run game and from a protection standpoint, if you don't have a guy that can be both. Great tight ends, the great inline guys, they block like a tackle, they run routes like a wide receiver. We had that for several years here. You know, we had a great one last year in Will Mallory. And now I think we've we've loaded up on some guys that we feel can do all that stuff. Mario Francisco 
on the other side of the ball, the linebacker. Yes. We're getting him today. We're getting Keontre today also. Yes. Francisco, he did well at Washington State. Um, yes. I know his brother's here, but what, right. what have you seen out of him here? What does he do well as a linebacker, and yeah. how does he fit in to Miami? Well, he's, he's gifted, number one. Second of all, he's very instinctive. Like, he understands blocking schemes really well. You know, Pre-snap knowledge of the game is critical for a linebacker, and he has that. He's been coached well. He comes from a football family, so he understands backfield sets. He understands wide receiver splits, whole line communication. And when he triggers, he goes. And what I mean by that, he sees a play go, and he's, he doesn't hesitate. There's no reservation or hesitation in his game. And when he gets there, he gets there with physicality and intensity. So he, uh, we expect big things from him. He's, he's a special player and a tremendous worker. Great for team culture. How about Keontre? Can you talk the same kind of thing about he's taking up a, He's taking a big step. He really has. And, and part of it is he's made up his mind to play downhill and play better. And second of all, I think the scheme, as well as um, I would say Coach Nicholson, um, they're different. You know, these are high energy, high character, work ethic guys that they teach. They teach, they teach, they teach. They're all about just taking time, investing time in players, and it's showing up. They're connecting really, really well, so they can push really hard. They're doing that. And about, the, about, about the Mount Goas, uh, I remember you mentioned on signing day, like what it was like, you know, playing with your older brother. Just what, I mean, yeah. you talk, talk, can you talk about that a little bit more, about what it's like being the younger brother in that situation? Well, we're waiting for that that brother collision, you know, it hasn't quite happened yet. It's going to happen, you know. I mean, they're both in the field at the same time a bunch, but you want to talk about high character, um, man, work ethic, talent, um, integrity, I mean, toughness. They got it all, man. If you want to raise a family, it's, you know, take a snapshot. That's what it looks like. And that's what you want for a teammate. That's what you want on the field when, when the game starts and when the, the game is when it's crunch time. So we're blessed to have them here with us. And uh, they're, they're sponges. They just they want to get better. You can coach them hard. They don't want to get coached hard. They don't, want, they don't want to be coddled. They don't want to pull themselves out of a practice or you know, any type of competitive period because they're tired. No, they want more. And that's what we need. I wanted to ask about Jalen Rivers, how he's doing at left tackle. Is it could it be his permanent spot this year, you think? He's done great. And you know, Jalen now for this is his second year with us, is he's really been trained to play all five positions and he is the one player that plays them all equally well. He's excelled, he's a leader, he's an exceptional human being. I've raved about him before and I, I'd only rave about him more now, you know. Uh, and he's had a great spring so far. His next step now is to become a vocal leader, you know, which we are going to press him to do because of what he does off the field is as equally, you know, well done as it is on the field. And we need that. We need him to take that next step. Because first Last year, full passes, how was the energy out there, you know, oh. guys being with up each other yeah. and kind of see who got, which guys are really physical, which guys are kind of young. Yeah, it's exactly what you want it to be. You know, we were trying to stay up off the ground, but when you get the third and one during play periods, you know, good luck keeping everybody off the ground. It was a really good first start, and we also have a long ways to go. But in the areas of, um, you know, the line of scrimmage, girth, power, you know, um, athletic ability, recoverability at the tackle, toughness at the tackle positions. Um, I would say uh, leadership at the center position really stood out today. Henry Parrish really stood out today. Tyler Van Dyke has really stood out. And uh, on the defense, credit to all those guys are playing high level, high level ball with the new scheme. You know, Nigel Lee Kelly's really had a good spring so far. Ruben Bain stands out right away, right away. And you could see why he's, you know, was so highly touted, man. So all in all, miles to go, and we got to push these guys. Mario, you, Thank have you, a, you have a scrimmage I'm sorry, well, on yeah. Saturday. Do you have a scrimmage? It's a partial scrimmage, so we'll have practice for the first half. It'll look just like today, then those last 30, 40, 50 plays. We'll, uh, we'll go live. Well, that, so that counts as one of your three. You it know, does. It's, are we, is it open to us? It is not. It is not. Are you going to do a video? You're not are too you? sad about it. Don't, don't pretend. Nah, come on. We'll you, you, know. we'll okay. you Thanks, Mario. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Thank you guys. Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.